Hey everyone, it's Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs and today I am in the Leonardo Design Studio software and I want to show you how you can easily turn text that you are typing into a print and cut design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up as a print and cut and I'm going to make a bunch of stickers using text in Leonardo Design Studio. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to come over here to the right side and I'm going to choose my artboard. So I'm going to tell Leonardo that I'm going to do a print and cut. So I'm going to choose print and cut. I'm going to verify that my page size is the correct page size that I am printing on. And then I'm going to choose page marks up here. And I'm going to utilize the full sheet of this. So then the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to create a sticker. So my sticker is going to be a circle. So I'm going to choose the draw circle. And then if I hold my shift key down when I draw that circle, it's going to be a perfect circle. And by chance, it's white. So I'm going to come down here. You can't see that, but by just by luck's sake, I drew it at 1.5. That doesn't happen very often. But if you need to change your um, dimensions, you can change those here. If you want it to be an oblong or an oval, um, then you can unlock this lock aspect ratio and change either the height or the width. When it is locked, it's going to adjust the height and the width proportionally. So I'm just going to change this over here to black so that you can see it. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to choose stroke so you can see through that circle. And then I want to tell Leonardo that I am going to cut this sticker or this circle. I'm making the sticker. I'm going to use the cut tool. So now he has determined that I am cutting this instead of printing it. So the default when you turn those registration marks on is the print option. So I just selected the cut tool here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my text tool in the bottom left corner. And I'm going to enter the text that I want to type out. So I'm just going to highlight that so it deletes and I'm just going to type the letter H. So I'm just going to make a full sticker sheet of these letter H stickers. You can use them for envelope closures, things like that. I was trying to think of something that I would be able to utilize. Um, you can make thank you stickers. You can make all kinds of things. If you're doing a party, you could do stickers for the goodie bags to close them, um, all kinds of different ideas. I'm going to click apply and then it's gonna come on my screen. Now I'm gonna come back here, I wanna show you something on the text tool. You can also change the size up here in the top right corner. Um, really, I don't even pay attention to it, but if you want to, you can. Um, I don't pay attention to it because then I come in here and I just use the corner bounding box and I change the size to whatever I need. So it's really up to you. You can also, with the object selected, you can again, under the properties panel, you can change the width or the height as you need it. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to place that letter H in the center, towards the center. I'm going to make this exaggerated so you can see it, but I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to use my align tools to align the middle and align the center. Since I have some loop-de-doos in my text, it's not going to look completely centered um, just to the visual eye. It really is centered for that design. Um, but So you could adjust it, uh, the arrow keys make it jump. If you just move your mouse, you can adjust it in smaller increments and then drop it where you want. So I'm just gonna center that again, but I wanted to show you how you can do that. And then what I wanna do is I wanna make sure my H, my text is selected, and I wanna make sure that the default here is set to print. So now I have told Leonardo that I want to cut the circle and I want to print the letter H. So to check that this works, you're gonna come up here to, I'm gonna click off of it so nothing is selected. Then I'm gonna come up here to the send tab. It shows me my letter H. Since it's a print and cut, I don't get any of the additional options to choose from. And I'm gonna click send. And then what you're going to see in the top left is your print artwork. So my letter H is what's showing that's going to print. And then down here, if I click, that is my cutting contour. That is what's going to cut. So I'm not quite ready to cut yet. I'm gonna come back to the design and I'm gonna select my entire design and just so I don't move it, I'm going to either hit Control G 
which is your shortcut for group, or right click and choose group. You can also find group up here in the edit menus as well, group and ungroup. Um, I'm a shortcut or a right click person. So it really just depends on what you find the fastest for you or the easiest. So now what I can do is I am just going to copy and paste. So cop, control C, control V, and I'm just gonna drag a copy across. Once I have two copies, now I can control C, control V, and make more copies. And I don't think I can fit another one on the page there. Not quite, but that's okay. This is just for an example. So what I wanna do is, um, since I can't fit five across, I could make them smaller if I wanted to. Um, since it's just an example, why don't I do that? So I'm just gonna select them all, make them a little bit smaller, and then I can copy and paste that. Now that I have all five of them across, what I can do is I can come up here to my arrange and I can choose these align options. And currently in this version of Leonardo Design Studio, your distribute horizontal and vertical is in this upper menu. Um, first, I'm gonna center, whoops, wrong center. Control Z is undo. So first I'm going to center. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up again to arrange and I wanna choose that distribute horizontal. And that's just gonna evenly space those out. And what I can do is I can group that selection together and control C, control V, and I can just fill this page. So I'm going to select both lines now, control C, control V. Once you get going, it's really, you can do this really quickly, control C, control V. And that looks about like what I can do. So I'm just gonna position these down here and then because I'm a center align person, um, I like things in straight lines, I'm going to um, select everything and I'm going to center it. And then I'm gonna come up here to the arrange and I'm going to choose the distribute vertical. Now that's going to space them all out exactly the same distance. So now what we have, if I want to group these, then I should be able to center it to my page by using the align tools. So now I have a full page of stickers. And what I can do is I'm gonna click on the send tab. It's gonna show my letter H's, click send. And here you're going to see the top is my print artwork and the bottom is my cutting contours. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna print this and then I'm gonna show a um, sped up version, which Juliet is actually really fast. So I'm not sure I'm gonna need to speed this up, but I'm gonna show you how I load the cutting mat and how we cut these stickers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my correct printer is selected. My page size is the proper page size that I'm using. And I'm going to be sending to the printer. So my print artwork is the one selected. Send to printer. And this is a weird Windows 11 menu. One of these days I'm gonna get this figured out to show my actual printer windows again. Um, some windows update just messed with my printer window. Um, gonna click more settings because I need to print from my rear tray. That's where I print my specialty medias from. So my sticker and I'm gonna choose rear tray and hit okay. And then I'm gonna choose print. And my printer should pick up in the background. It's still low on ink. And then if I get this, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna explain this because sometimes you're going to get this. Um, when you have a lot of devices in your house or in your craft area that are all connected by Wi-Fi, um, Bluetooth, um, in this case, my printer is Wi-Fi. So once in a while, I will get an error from Leonardo Design Studio, as you see here. All I do is I hit cancel, I cancel this, I know my printer was working earlier because I printed from it, so no problem. I'm gonna hit send to printer again. I'm gonna choose my options, click okay, print, and then typically on the second time, it goes through with no problem. So we'll cross our fingers and see what happens. And there it goes. 
So if you do encounter an error, that's typically what I find. But just keep in mind when you have a lot of devices on Wi-Fi, um, you know, Juliet and Romeo work on Wi-Fi. If you get an error, stop what you're doing, just backtrack and start over and see what happens. That's typically what happens and I can get it corrected. So I'm gonna grab that sheet here. So here is my completed sticker paper printed out and you wanna make sure to let your ink dry. Um, I don't wanna rush this, um, but we're gonna jump over into showing the Caesar Juliet and how we print, finish the print and cut on this. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, um, this is already on, so I'm just going to wake Juliet up and then I have my printed sticker sheet and I am going to remove the protective cover off my cutting mat. I'm going to place this. I always just place it in the bottom left corner, but you can place it pretty much anywhere. Just make sure it's straight on your cutting mat for the best success. And then I'm going to go ahead and load this into Caesar Juliet. And I just line up the front edge of this mat, the left edge against the line over here that the arrows point to. And I just hold it in place. Oh, that was a little bit loud. Uh, usually I'm a little more gentle. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to position the housing. Now, if this is your first time cutting your sticker paper, you want to make sure to do your test cuts. I've been using this sticker paper all week, so I'm pretty confident in the tests, in the settings that I've been using. They've worked very well. So what I need to do is I need to move the blade housing inside this bottom left registration mark. So I'm going to move the proper direction. And I'm going to move my blade housing. I'm going to bend down, make sure, just because I'm above my machine. And that is where it should be located, in that bottom left registration mark where that arrow points to. The camera is under there. As soon as I go and tell the Leonardo Design Studio to start, it's going to start moving that housing. So we're gonna, I'm going to go tell it to. My computer's in the other room. And now that I have Juliet set up to start cutting, I come back to my software. I'm going to choose my cutting contours. It's going to change over for my blade settings. So I'm using a Caesar standard blade. And then I'm going to be using the cutting tool is the selection that I had chosen for the circles. So I wanna make sure that the cutting tool is, this, is the one I have. And for my settings for this sticker paper, my force is a seven. Now I'm not in doing a die cut on this particular sticker paper, but I will put a link in the description below for how I could do a die cut as well as the kiss cut. I have a video on that as well. So once I do this, I'm ready to go. I can click send to cutter, verify my settings and click yes. And then Caesar Juliet's gonna start. Now, this brings up a good point. For some reason, it just didn't work, so it beeps at me. The crosshairs is not in the correct location, so I'm just gonna back out of here. That's how I back out. I'm gonna cancel it. I'm gonna reposition the housing, and then I'm gonna send it again. No big deal, but anytime that the machine beeps at you, that means it's screaming at you that something is wrong. So, not a, not a thing to worry about. I am on camera, so that means that anytime something could happen and go wrong, this will be when it does happen. So I'm just going to position that housing inside that mark. And we're going to try this again. And then this time it picked it up in the corner. The red crosshair on the screen is in the corner of that mark. That is exactly what you want. So if your red crosshair, which might be hard to see on this video, but you'll see it on the camera here, is not showing in the very corner of the registration mark and it beeps at you, that's why it's not picking up that corner. And it could just be something simple is that Juliet wants you to spend more time with her. So all I had to do was reposition the housing. I didn't have to unload my mat, nothing. And 
And there we have it. So I'm just going to cancel that out, unload my cutting mat, and I can go ahead and just remove this. And then just to easily check this, and my blade might be getting a little bit dull. See, I should have done a test cut. Darn it. Guys, you should have told me. Now, nope, my own fault, but it doesn't, it's not too bad. But like I said, I've been cutting a lot of sticker paper this week with some of these videos that I'm doing. So this is complete user error. It's not Juliet's fault. Um, I'm gonna increase the force a little bit on that, but I can still easily, if I'm just careful, I can pop those out right now. So this sticker sheet is not lost. Um, I'll also throw up a link in the description below on a will it work video on how I went ahead and I sent this back through on a project that didn't cut through, which is what I could, I could test that and see if it would work here. Um, but I probably won't just because I can pop those out. So again, test cuts are very important, especially if you're using your blade a lot. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. Check out the other videos on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel as well. And there is more information in the description below for additional videos. Thank you and have a great day.